Today we have come together to witness the joining of these two lives. For them, out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They met each other, fell in love, and are finalizing it with their wedding today. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day, and sometimes several times a day. It is in speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. Keep your friendship alive. Keep your love alive. Love can wane and die, but if fed, it can grow and thrive and mature and always keep, first and foremost, God and Christ at the center of your marriage relationship. longer two independent persons, but you are now one in the eyes of the Lord. What God has joined together, let no man separate you. Brian, you can kiss you Brian now. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Pops, I can't say enough how happy I am for you. You deserve to have this after all the sacrifices you have made. I'm so proud to call you my father and you have made me the man I am today. I've never seen him happier than he is right now. And I'm happy for him. He's my hero and our Superman. And if your home can be full of love and laughter and just the commitment to each other, I think things will be great.